Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Kessy Wigby. If this is your first time, please hit the subscribe button. Today, we are learning how to do this lemonade eyeshadow tutorial. Let's get started. So, I made sure I set my eyelid with my concealer. I'm using this drugstore concealer. I applied this all over my eyelid. If you want to learn how to do your brows, you can find the video in the description box below. So, these are the palettes that I'll be using. I have the Morph palette and the Take Me to Brazil palette. One of the questions I get asked is, how do you know what colors? to work with so this is the dress i'm wearing it has lemon it has wine it has black and i just want to work with dark colors so i'm using this palette because it has green lemon and all that and it has black i'm taking this morph palette that has like this earth tones orange wine brown you know i just find a way to blend them together so i'm starting with this very light orange color so i apply that on my lid very close to my brow at the top top side next I'll take another shade of orange bit darker shade like medium shade and this we go just directly on that first place I apply the light shade you can see the brush I'm using it's the brush is really voluminous I'm talking about the brush hairs and the strands it's really voluminous so it makes it so easy for me to apply on my eyelid So I'll go back with the light orange and try to blend it out so that it looks like a transition from light to dark orange. Now we want to go for another shade which is like the brown and for the brown I'll just apply it inside my eyelid like if you open your eyes the deep hollow part I'm applying that there. So now it's time to cut my crease. I'm cutting my crease with my concealer. I would advise you to use a lighter shade of concealer, very light shade, but I'm just using this one. So I just cut my crease. I'm doing like a half crease. In another video, I'll teach you how to really cut your half crease, half cut crease rather. So I always look up to be sure that it's visible and it's just as I want it. I mean the size of the half cut crease. Once we do it for one eye, we go ahead to for the second eye. So now I'm using this brush. I like to really use this flat brush and I always do this funny thing. I try to scrape out a little bit of the eyeshadow so that I have enough for me to grab into my eyes, if you know what I mean. So I'll take that lemon and I'll begin to just apply that lemon on the crease gently. One funny thing is that people think that when you apply this like two times or three times, it's going to just be visible. I won't lie, I would go I usually go in like six to eight times before it's really popping. Okay, and also you should use a very light concealer. I'll try and do that in another video. I'll use a very light concealer so you can see the difference when you use a light concealer. It's the colors just pop out better. So this is for one eyes. I'll do the same for the other eye. Using this pointed 
head brush because I really want to just go into some sides and I don't want the color spreading everywhere so this brush is kind of pointed or you can use a very small brush so I'm taking black and I'm applying the black on the corners of the lemon you know both upwards and downwards you know like towards the end so when I apply with that brush I will take another brush and just blend it out so I'm applying that uh, black shade to really make it just everything's just blend you know if not it's just going to look somehow like lemon and then the brown but when you add that black to it it just makes everything blend another brush now because I want to blend the black out what I mean by blend is it was looking very dark before and concentrated like it was just on one spot so when you take the other brush you spread it out so that the black doesn't look too black it's kind of um, blend blended blended now I'm applying my eyeliner So I'm done with the face, almost done with the face. I'm waiting for it to bake. So I feel like I should apply some of this stuff on my under eye. So I'm using my concealer. I'm using a very light shade of concealer, if you notice. I'm applying the concealer on my under eye. Okay, this might make you may make you really teary, but just you know, shake it off. Now I'll just dab that out with my beauty blender. These are the brushes I'll be using. You can see that they are very short and full. I pick these brushes particularly because I'm applying my eyeshadow under my eyelid. So I'll start with the lemon at the beginning. The reason I use the concealer is because it will make the colors pop out better. So I'll apply the lemon at the beginning then I'll move to another shade which is like the green and then move to a darker shade like black I'm taking you can see I'm taking a another shade which is like dark green to transition from light green to dark green then to black I'm using three different brushes for these three different colors so now I'm moving to the black so if you look at this you notice that the colors are transitioning from lemon to green to black not just from lemon to black so this is very important to add it green in the middle for that transition to really look okay and I, I usually apply this like four five six times for it to really pop applying black in my under eye inside 
So I felt like, you know what, let me add some green to my eyeshadow on my eyes. Just to make it really look better. So I'm done blending my face and everything. And I'm using a nude glossy lipstick. Shiny glossy lipstick. So this is the final look. It looks really nice. As you can see. I personally love how the eyeshadow really matches with the outfit and the lemon just pops out and make the whole look really look better so thank you guys for watching this video if you want to see this hair tutorial you can check the description box for the link and if you want to learn how to make this wig the video is available so see you next time guys bye